الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله as we're heading towards the end of this blessed month Ramadan it's important for us to reflect on Islam in general and what Islam means in a general sense and the benefits of Islam and not to lose our Islam because everyone is going through different struggles in their lives some people are on the on the verge of leaving their religion and some people need extra uh, assistance in coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in extra encouragement and we need to know what is Islam and what how what is the simplicity of Islam what does Islam have to offer us listen to this hadith of uh, the hadith of Abi Qulaba عن أبي قلابة رضي الله تعالى عنه عن رجل من أهل الشام عن أبيه أنه سأل رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ما الإسلام قال أن تسلم قلبك لله ويسلم مسلمون من لسانك ويدك In this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم the hadith of Abi قلابة رضي الله تعالى عنه and he said that a man from Ahl Sham, a man from the you know the region of Sham, which would be Syria, Jordan, Philistine, uh, etc., uh, a man from Ahl Sham, uh, Ahl Sham, uh, he uh, related on his father. He said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Ma al Islam." Uh, he related that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked, uh, was, uh, he asked the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ma al-Islam, what is Islam? The Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam re replied by saying, And taslam qalbak lillah. It is to give your heart to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, you know, and, 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 and have comfort in that. You're a Muslim. Have comfort in that. Taslim, submitting to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and His commands. وَيُسَلَّمْ مُسْلِمُونَ مِنْ لِسَانِكْ وَيَدَّكْ And that the Muslims are safe from your hands and your tongue. Listen to this before we get into the fawa'id from uh, one of the great mashayikh, uh, Sheikh Abdullah ibn Salih ibn Muhammad Qasir, Hafidhullah Ta'ala. He gives a beautiful explanation here uh, of this uh, hadith. And so... Looking at this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the last statement the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to that your your heart should be content with Islam, with with Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So this means that when we are confronted, if you will, with the commands of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, that we have Taslim fi qalb that our hearts should be comforted, that we shouldn't fight the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There may be things we have to adjust to, maybe things that we were not aware of. But as we increase in knowledge and as these texts are presented to us, that should uh, be the defining, uh, give us the defining answer when regards to issues and things that are doubts and, and, and which direction, how, how we should worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what things we should give up. So we should have taslim and tasallim uh, qalbaq lillah that you should, you know, give and surrender your heart to Allah. And the way you do that is through surrendering to His commands. And then he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mentioned was yusallam muslimun and that the Muslims should be, uh, they should be safe from your tongue. So th here we are in the month of Ramadan. How many people have made takfir of us? How many people make tabdi of us, call us jahil, call us this, call us that? Habatifillah, people will attack you and attack your honor in every which way. And that's unfortunate. And it's unfortunate that it comes from other Muslims. However, you have to realize, make your taslim lillah. You know, give your affairs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tawakkal and rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Leave your affairs with Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and let them be the ones who indulge and engage in sin and ma'asi and the noob. And that, that will be something on your scale of good deeds in the future. So a person's sound Islam 
is the one who does not speak ill of the believers and attacks the believers. And of course, there are conditions with that, meaning that it doesn't mean that you never, there's never uh, 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 a time to warn or speak uh, harshly to someone. Of course, we know that in when it comes to commanding the good and forbidding the evil, when it comes to refuting Ahl al-Bidah, you know, people who are changing the religion of, us, uh, of Islam and distorting the religion and the message of Islam, that of course, there are conditions for that. And warning against the harm for the sake of preserving the community and the unity of the, the Muslimin. So, uh, in general, the Muslims, they should be safe from your tongue. And that means the one who is practicing that, they're practicing Islam. They're practicing Iman. That others' people are safe from their, their harm in their tongue. Wayyadik. Uh, and also the hands. That means you shouldn't be beating and striking the necks of your brothers and sisters, as we see many of the uh, extremist, violent, terrorist, shayateen groups like ISIS and other Daesh and other extremists that they do. That's their methodology. Their methodology is shock and terror. And they believe that they are helping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen, but they are going against the usul of Islam. Wallahu musta'an. So the Sheikh mentions here, in a brief explanation, he said that the people should be that a person who 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 uh, calls the people to leave off evil, then. This person is a person who is, who is a person of safety. And he mentioned that, and, and, and truthfulness, and he says that where the Prophet ﷺ was asked, I Islam afdal, which Islam is, is the best? The Prophet ﷺ responded, Al-Iman, you know, faith. And then the man said, well, uh, and this is the hadith of Jibreel, قال, الإيمان, he said, قال, and تؤمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسوله واليوم ال, uh, you know, وال, والبعث وبعد, uh, بعد الموت. This is in one narration that the Prophet ﷺ mentioned that there is belief that Iman is belief in Allah and his belief in his angels and in his books and in his messengers uh, and in the day of judgment uh, that will all be uh, uh, resurrected after death that will be called to account for our deeds, Yom hisab And then he mentions, he says, because Iman, that is the assass, or that's the foundation of righteous deeds. And Iman is a foundation principle. You know, it's, it's based on a foundation principle, and it is a foundation principle. And that is righteous deeds from statements, from actions and from manners and from leaving off those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited and to establish your faith based on those uh, a sound foundation by the following the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and based upon the sound foundation of Iqtiqad Salim, a, a sound creed. That, and that, that is Tawheed Muhaqqaq, you know, the reality of Tawheed. You know, that Tawheed is Tawheed, uh, uh, the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Tawheed al-asma'i wa sifat. Tawheed of the lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that your, your, your aqidah, your creed is sound. Those are just some of the benefits that we can gain from this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilm al-nafiyah, wa rizqan tayyibah, wa amal al-mutakabbilin, wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.